whether it's high or low volume, there's always uh, a great deal of danger involved in going in the creek at this time of year. It varies from year to year depending on what kind of um, uh, things we want to train on and uh, what scenarios we want to set up because uh, an accident can happen anywhere in the creek, up and down the creek, so we have to be able to train for anywhere where it may happen. We put two uh, swimmers over onto the, the uh, two rescue swimmers onto the island to make patient contact. They can do a little bit of a um, size up of the situation, what kind of injuries we have, because that'll, that'll affect the, or change the way we're going to affect the rescue. So they're able to give us a better idea of what we need to do there. And they also provide patient care. And then as we're doing the rescue, they're involved in the rescue of patient packaging or actually bringing the, the patients across. The second victim, we had a report that he had a broken neck, so we can't, the first victim we swam across. The second victim we put in a, on a spine board and used to bring over on the Zodiac. Obviously with the spinal injury, we can't just throw him in, or take him into the water like we did with the other victim. So again, a different situation requires different uh, um, pieces of our equipment to use. Um, it's not something that we do do a lot of in a particular year, so we do need to train on it. And if we, uh, if we don't train on it, just talking about it, you just don't get the same skill set down. So you need, we need to practice in the kind of rescues that we're likely to perform in a year.